God bless him. You ever just see a fat kid? I was at a McDonald's a few weeks ago. And collectively, everyone in the restaurant, we all saw this fat kid. And we all looked at each other and we looked at him and was just like, dude, get out of here. <laughs> what are you doing, man? There's nothing for you here. Save yourself. What's that? Save yourself. Save yourself. Yeah. You having a separate conversation in your head right now, sir? <laughs> are you having some weird fucking flashback of you falling off a hammock? Yeah, I've been there. Save yourself. I thought you were in the ending of Titanic for a minute. Get out of here, Jack. I got a wife, it wouldn't work anyway. Save yourself. I think you were speaking about the fat kid in the McDonald's joke. Yeah. You were concerned for him, I love that. You're a sensitive dude. A fictional fat kid, you were like, I hope he fucking makes it. I hope he makes better choices. You wearing sunglasses on your hat indoors? Yeah, I am. I fucking love that, dude. You know why? Because that's a, a lot of people would look at that choice and be like, look, and what a fucking douche, you know? But I, I see the strategy behind this move, you know? Because you're like, oh yeah, I'm a douche. Well, what if the fucking roof caves in and the sun comes back out? And you're the asshole. Boom, that's what I do. And you got to squint. I respect that move, dude. Okay, dude, what's your name, man? Scott. What do you do out here in Vegas? I come to va vacation. Cut, take two. Let's try that sentence one more time. Yeah. Vacation! Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's... Dude, you said it all by not saying anything at all. You know what I'm saying? I mean, fucking how many best man speeches have you tried to give? <laughs> fucking Benny. Been there with uh, this fucking, I've known this guy for fucking 50 fucking years, dude. I'm only 42, but I've known him for 50 years. He's my fucking dog, for my fucking dude. And I just wanted to say one thing, man, because we've been through a lot, dude. We've fucking been through fucking, I bet, can you remember the time we freaking come from that set back, dude? You remember that fucking shit? Dude, you fucking, you know, I'll put together a bunk bed for you, man. I don't give a fuck, dude. Yeah. And I just want to say one thing, man. Are you fucking, everybody hold your glass up, dude? Fucking one thing I just want to say, dude. Save yourself. That's all I want to say. Save yourself, dude. Cheers to the bride and groom. <laughs> oh, man. If I had the phones, I would rent a hot air balloon tonight and take you and you, and we would fucking just see where the wind takes us. And if it took us to fucking Brazil, so be it, you know? If we didn't make it, also, that's my story. I'm happy to go down like that, you know? How'd he die? Doing what he loved. Hot, hot air ballooning with strangers. 